We are 22S Radio, the next wave of K-Beats. 22S Radio is 22SMedia.com and 88.1 KKJZ HD3 Long Beach, Los Angeles. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to the Golden Spotlight. I'm your host, Rob Flores, and we are here for another edition of the Golden Spotlight. Uh, I think uh, I heard about someone's show. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's interesting because when I left, when I came back, I believe I heard, uh, obviously, Ignite and his brother is becoming very huge, oh. like, popular-wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember, like, I heard, okay, who, who's Ignite and who's, um, oh my gosh, I forget, oh yeah, who's Utao? And I'm mm-hmm. like, hey, what's this K-pop? I've never, I don't remember ever hearing about K-pop before. I'm like, okay. Freestyle rap. This is different. <laughs> this is new and great exposure to, to the station. I'm like, wait, are we back? Is it back? Right. Like, let me go ahead and visit that. No, I'd love to be back. You know, I was welcomed right away, and I. That's when I started interviewing like politicians. Like, it gave me the opportunity to go ahead and like uh, further like want to come back. Like, once I did come back, I did want to improve my like, video and stuff, and that's when I ended up doing the whole camcorder the tripod and everything like that and I won't go further because my first experience I remember we I think got nominated for something at the station over there at Cerritos right. and we had Olaf TV come to us and uh, that was my first experience on having like really be on camera and I screwed up big time okay I was sitting on a, one of those wheelchair things those chairs with the wheels in the bottom right. and the ladies like interviewed me and I'm going like this like I'm making the, the freaking tires move and so that was my first experience about how like how what not to do don't fidget with your hands don't there's a lot of different aspects that went into you know this being on camera and it, it it helped me in the future i really wanted to go ahead and do you know more with you know my show and i remember now there was more emphasis also in the media training where they're like you want to like transcribe your stuff too you want to go ahead and make sure that uh the dis- disabled uh, population can also hear your show. Mm-hmm. The importance of closed captioning. A lot of that wow. stuff, like we might take for granted, yeah. and we don't realize how important it is. But that's a whole other, you know, potential audience you can get. Mm. And so that really helped me out as far as uh, making sure when you upload a video to YouTube, there's a lot more process to it. And sometimes you just think, oh, just click upload, that's it. But when you go to it and you go to those tabs or stuff like, what was the original language? Uh, another option is, uh, has it ever aired on television in the United States? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of different things that you can click on there and it helps people like, narrow it down and put it into closed captioning and stuff. And, you know, in general, learning things like SEO, the importance of tags, a lot of that stuff just to help someone, you know, get their name out there. So once I finally got a smartphone, okay. uh, I realized about, you know, Instagram and stuff like that. So I really incorporated that into my show. And then it was the whole, you know what? I think shows need to have their own fan page because at the end of the day, when you're a show host at college, you the host are responsible for promoting yourself. I remember somebody mentioned before, no one is, knows better how to promote yourself than yourself. And so the whole idea is, Know, think of yourself as a brand and tra- treat it as if, if your boss found you online because yeah. uh, the whole idea that like those stories were oh so and so got fired because they posted dumb stuff ladies and gentlemen this concludes this episode of the golden spotlight until next time folks